Beverly and myself to our wedding breakfast. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis at last. Yay! Thanks everyone for making this weekend, and thank you for you all for the part you've played to make us the successful couple we are today. You're all part of our closest family, and nothing means more to us than being able to share today with you. An extra special thanks go to our amazing parents, Denise, Vern, John, and Carol, who six years ago became equally incredible grandparents. Yay. Throughout our lives, you have always been there, and without you, we couldn't be the people and have the fantastic lives that we have today. So I'm going to, my first toast is to all of you. Friends that have become family, and family that are friends. We love you all very much. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Do it again and I can get a picture. <laughs> <laughs> There's more cheers. Jesus, that's page one. We'll give you more next time. Demo, my best man. Eight weeks ago, I was your best man at your wedding. <laughs> Round of applause. And I read aloud some lovely words about you <laughs> that you had written for me. <laughs> Luckily, I have no untellable stories. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So I, haven't, I haven't needed you to return that favour for me. Have I? <laughs> In all seriousness, over the 21 years I've known Davo, he's been a great friend. He's one of the most reliable people you'll meet, and he's always got your corner. Damo, myself, and Jim, we've lived all over the country together. Uh, with Jim in London now, uh, Damo lives in Birmingham, and I live in Manchester. We still make time to share plenty of adventures together. Uh, and I thank all of our partners uh, for continuing to support this. <laughs> this year, after four years, we completed 260 mile Pennine Way. Next year, we will start the 500 mile Spanish Camino de Santiago. Good time to ask. And I'm sure you will all support us in this. When did the boss happen? <laughs> when me and David bought our first house together, I always remember Nan. Nan, can you hear me? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Nan, 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 can you remember when, when I bought a house with Damo? Yeah. Yes. She was a bit worried. She thought we might have something to hide. <laughs> but now, Nan, with me and Damo both married, I can promise you we are not the new. Elton and Furnish. <laughs> <laughs> if you could all raise your glasses for my best man, or should I say men, Damo and Jim. Yay! Damo and Jim. 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 Missed that one as well. <laughs> There's another one coming. <laughs> yeah, ready, Donna. When I began the search for a wife, <laughs> Future wife in 2009. <laughs> I knew I had to try something new. Back then, what you were with <laughs> Back then, there was no Tinder. No plenty of fish or adult friend finder. Thank, thank God. <laughs> and so I joined the only real dating site there was, Match.com. Yeah. Living at the time here in York, that's why you're all here today. But with work in Leeds, family in North Ants, and a house in Birmingham, not knowing really where I was actually going to settle, I made the kind of critical decision to set a search radius of 30 miles away from Leeds. And that just scraped me, literally by metres, into Saddleworth. And fortunately for me, where Beverly lived. Aww. And so, it was written in the stars. It was. I was only on match for a week. <laughs> Beverly was the only girl that made my shortlist, and the only date I ever went on. She was the only girl that went on. 
When I first dated Beverly, I used to joke with her because whilst her dating profile was what, no. <laughs> <laughs> was what proved to be the perfect match, one of her listed interests was. This takes a lot of boxes. I don't know. Erotica. <laughs> 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 Your kids are present. She said somehow she must have actually did click the wrong box by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see how that was possible. <laughs> Never having seen any evidence of her interest in the rock. <laughs> I forgot it about it altogether the other day. <laughs> when she sent me a text. <laughs> which reminded me. I just wanted you guys' opinion. This was the text that she sent me. What's not supposed to be about me? That's what she sent me. Hot what do you think? Sex. Made out of children's potato chips. <laughs> so I'm still my hopes out there. <laughs> <laughs> Good job they're not taking any of it. I knew soon after meeting Beverly that I had found a special seat, and despite driving into a neighbour's car before one of our first dates, and becoming the first man to introduce her, introduce her into Don Kabats, she came to feel the same way too. In finding my new home in the northwest, I became part of another family, the Flins, who have embraced me as their own and allowed me to continue to grow our seedling adding branch after branch to its widening trunk. <laughs> Add to that now, my beautiful wife, two of the happiest, healthiest boys I can imagine, Damo and Jim. <laughs> <laughs> of course, our little acorns, Callum and Evan, and the Lewis family oak is looking mightier than ever, and I'm so proud of that. <laughs> Beverly, the last ten years have gone by so quickly. We were luckily... We were lucky to be in the age of technology and easy to remind ourselves where those years went and the fun times we had. While I wrote this, I had a look back through my iCloud photos. Yeah, what was this going on? <laughs> <laughs> Seven minutes, 37 seconds. You got it, yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny how my very first picture of you was actually a picture of your cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. My second one of you was you holding a gun. Oh, again, I didn't know that. I really love at first sight. <laughs> Those early, early years are filled with our love of outdoor adventures, cosy nights in, spa days, nice food, including kebabs, <laughs> and wonderful holidays. Two thir 2013 to now, and the arrival of our boys have probably been our most defining moments. Our relationship has been put through most tests. Holidays became exploding nappy fests, <laughs> and our lack of sleep, given how much we loved sleep, was put us both through our paces. They were, however, amazing years, and easy now to look back at the pictures with great fondness. You've been and continue to be an amazing mom. In all these years, we've never had a proper argument. Yes, we don't always agree on everything, <laughs> and it's not. It can't be easy living with a ser serial DIYer. There's <laughs> always tweaking something around the house, collecting wood, building fires, and then smoking out our hands. <laughs> We're a well-oiled team, and with the help of our friends and our family, we've given Callum and Evan the best start in life. When I met you on Match, I was of course drawn to your beautiful blue eyes, blonde hair, radiant smile, and I guess that first photo indicates other things too. <laughs> of course, I still love every bit of your outside and you look amazing today. But as we grow older, it's everything else that means the most to me now. I love you very much. I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together as friends, as lovers, as parents, as kebab sharers, <laughs> and hopefully as grandparents. If you could all raise your glasses and show your, I'll my get love, Donna, and, and Donna's love, for <laughs> Mrs. Beverly Lewis. Yay! Yay! Beverly Lewis. Yay. Now well done, Ryan. Well done, Ryan. And so finally, the last ten pages, no, <laughs> a big thanks to all of you for celebrating uh, today with us.
enjoy your food, and to many happy years of marriage. Yay! Yay! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> the end. Yay! Yay.